inside one of these 26 cases is one chance at one million dollars. Tonight, it's the ultimate standoff. I love that the banker's a woman. We'll see if you still say that by the end of the game. <laughs> the deal or no deal banker faces a Wall Street lifer. She wants to know who she's up against. I am Lady Trader. I've done it since I was 18 years old. But in a volatile market, Oh. This game has been the biggest roller coaster I've been on. Lisa is faced with her toughest decision. Will management push it a little too far? Oh, oh my gosh. From Universal Orlando Resort, heart pounding thrills and hair raising adventure await. It's deal or no deal. It is time for Deal or No Deal, and I am your host, Howie Mandel. That's my name. <laughs> now tonight, someone has the chance to earn one million dollars. Our show will be filled with gut-wrenching decisions that will bring our player right to the brink. Do they have what it takes? Why don't we ask her? Come on up. Lisa Glicksman! Oh, yes! Yes! Hi, Lisa. Hi, Nice to meet you. It's so nice to meet you. Tell me a little bit about yourself. My name is Lisa Glicksman. I am originally from Brooklyn, New York. All right. I am a day trader and a Wall Street lifer. Oh, wow. Yes. So you are a day trader. Tell me more about yourself. Are you married? I'm married. I have a husband named David, but most importantly, I am a cancer. Survivor. Oh, wow. So you must be very tough because that's I, a battle of a lifetime, the battle for your life, and you've won. It was the hardest thing I've ever been through in my whole entire life. But thanks to my amazing Dr. Rachel Kramer back in New York, I am here today with Howie, with this amazing audience, going to win a million dollars. Yes. All right. And should you win the million dollars, what do you want to do? Oh, wow. Well, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to help my family and friends who were there for me when I went through chemo. Oh, wonderful. I want to help them. But also, I want to travel. I'm a city girl, lived in New York my whole life. I've never seen a national park. I want to see a bear. <laughs> You've never <laughs> seen a national... No! You've never been to a park? Never been to one of the national parks, which is the gems of the United States. They really are. Yes, because what I went through, I realized material things come and go. Your experiences are what you have. And if cancer did anything for me, it changed my life, changed my perspective of get out there and do things. I'm afraid of nothing. You sound tough, you sound excited. I'm from Brooklyn, we're uh, tough. I know, you ready to play? Yes! Okay. You're very executive, you're very business-like. And in honor of your business-like being, I'd like to say two words. Ladies, please. They're great. I want one. We'll see what we can do. Okay. Hi, ladies. Hello, Howie. <laughs> I love that. All right. So you understand, you're a businesswoman. You understand that each of these ladies is holding a case with a number from 1 to 26. And each of the cases is holding an amount of money. From $1 million all the way down to a penny. They're randomly loaded by a third party. Nobody knows what's in any case. I might know. Tell me what you're thinking. Well, October 12th was my last chemo treatment. So I am picking case number 12. Zerati, bring her her case. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you win this moment. I Thank you, you too. Beautiful. 
So number 12 has been monumental in your life. Let's find out if there's a million dollars in it. The Let's way to do it. do it is by opening those cases. What's ever in those cases is not in your case. We're gonna start by opening up six cases. Okay, let's open number 19. Number 19, that is Natasha. Open your case. No number. Natasha, $100,000. Okay. It's a lot of money, but you don't want $100,000 in there. Tonight. You want $1 million exactly. so in there. Five more cases to open. Okay, my birthday, number 26. Michelle. Happy birthday. <laughs> okay. Open the case. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Not bad. Four more cases. Okay, number nine. Nine is fine. That's Patricia. Open the case. All right, yeah. That's good. We like that. Let's go with number four. Number four. Brenda, open your case. Boom, a million dollars is off the board, but you could walk out of here with half a million dollars or three quarters of a million dollars. Right. Two more, let's keep the big amounts in. Okay, 23. And Julia, small amount. All right, yeah. Thank you. That's more like it. One more. Number 13. That's Mahogany Locks. Open the case. Sometimes it's better to get the Band-Aid off early and you can still walk out of here with three quarters of a million dollars. I believe it. Which I want I you to it. do. I believe it. Everybody wants you to walk out of here with a lot of money. Me too. <laughs> Everybody except one other person. One other very strong woman who is standing up there. That is our banker, okay? She wants to buy that case for as little as possible and get you to go home. You think that case is worth $750,000 right now, right? Let's it. find out what she thinks it's worth. <laughs> Oop, that is her right now. Okay. Yeah, she wants to know who she's up against. So she says, you're from Brooklyn. That's right. You're in finance. How did you get into that? Growing up, my grandfather was a bookmaker. So I was around gambling. A my, bookie. Yes, he was a bookie. Gambling. Gambling. At the age of 10, right. he would send me to call the sports phone, 9761313. I still remember it 37 years later. I wonder if there's people at home dialing right Probably, now. Probably. To get the scores. So I've always been around gambling my whole life. Legal gambling is trading. I've done it since I'm 18 years old. So you I am are lady a trader. Whoa. So you're dealing with lady traders. So the answer is, <laughs> your background is the streets of Brooklyn. That's right. And betting, okay? Yeah. How does that help you? <laughs> she goes, now I know who I'm up against and I'm not worried at all. She'd be the first person to say that about me. Oh. <laughs> all right. I love that the banker's a woman. I love we'll, it. We'll see if you still say that by the end of the game. <laughs> but I love it. Okay, this is deal or no deal 2.0. You can make a counter offer, okay. you know? Only once in the game. If she doesn't take it, no deal. The offer goes off the board and you have to continue opening cases. Okay. Your first offer is $13,000. Okay. Lisa Glexman, deal or no deal? Well, how? $13,000 is a lot of money. And for a lot of people, it would change their lives. Right. Okay? But I'm a trader. Right. And every day I trade, I trade with my gut. Right. Okay? And Lady Trader did not come all this way to use her gut for $13,000. So thank you. Thank you. No. Five cases left to open. Okay, number 25. Summer, open your case. Okay, not that's not bad, it's not bad. Not bad, okay. those, 
Big amounts have to go right, away. They have to go away because I have it in here. Yes. Okay, 10. That's Veda. Veda, open your case. Give us a penny, give us a, a dollar. Penny, a give dollar. us something from the left side. Yeah, please, please. That's a low one. That is great. You only got a couple more cases to open. Three quarters of a million is still left in the game. We'll open those cases when we come back. We are back to Deal or No Deal. The lovely Lisa Glixman is here. You are strong, you are a fighter, you are from Brooklyn. Yes. You are a cancer survivor. You're a trader and you work the floor, the stock market predominantly. I did, and now I work for myself. Right. No bosses for me. That's right. And that's what we're doing here today. You are working for yourself, you're working for your family. Yep. You had a little bit of a rough start, but you still have huge amounts of money I left do. in play, a half a million dollars, three quarters of a million dollars. You have three more cases to open. Okay, let's go with number 20. Number 20, that's a Menza. Open your case. A penny. A penny. Keep it tiny please. on the left side. Yeah. There you go. Keep that going. Two more. Let's go with number 17. Number 17. That's Ashley. Ashley. Come on, Ashley. Open your case. Come on, Ashley. Come on, Ashley. Yeah! Good. That's amazing. We like it. Right, a bit of a rule now. Let's keep this going. One more case. Eight is great. Give me a penny. Nika. All she wants from you it's is penny. one penny. Come on, give me a penny. I'm trusting your gut. You say you trust your gut, I'm gonna trust you too. All right, yes. <laughs> so she seems to think you have some sense. See what I did? Open the case. That's okay. okay. That's okay. That's fine. Much better round than the first yes. round. Oh, yes. You ready to face her again? Let's do it. Ooh, everybody's feeling the pressure. Okay. Okay. Um, this was a good round, she says. And she says she wants to play this like you play the stock market. She's looking at your case as if it's your business. You see the value of your business, $750,000. She wants to buy your business right now. All right. You know what she's valuing your business at? $20,000. Okay. I don't know what you're thinking, but I would imagine, you know, there's a process. Yes. And you don't want to go through that process alone. No. Nope. You have brought some of your company's investors with you. Yes, I have. Yes. Your board. Yes, I have. As it were. My board of directors. Okay, let's meet some of your board. Hi, who are you? I am Brenda. When Lisa and I were in high school, and both of us had Ozzy Osbourne shirts on, the matching ones, and we looked at each other and we went, hey! <laughs> <laughs> and it was history. <laughs> We've been friends ever since. So both of you are yeah. on the crazy train. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you are? Husband. <laughs> Husband, yes. <laughs> I'm here to give you the big secret, right? Well, I have a secret. You have the secret. Okay, what is the secret? The million dollars was never in any of these cases. The only million dollars that's been on this stage since we got here was Lisa. She wears it wherever she goes. She wears it wherever she goes. She's always gonna be worth at least that much or more, but we'll take the 750. <laughs> Why do you think she's worth so much? We have gone through so much together, but this last year has been just so Difficult, traumatic, life-changing for both of us. And through the whole way, I've seen how it's made her such a better person. I've always been brilliant, but she's never believed in her own brilliance. She now finally believes in it. That's nice to hear. I'm lucky. I'm so lucky. That's wonderful. You know, to keep you feeling at home, we prepared a little, like, a ticker tape to keep track of the value of your company and the oh offers God. that were coming up. Let's put up the ticker tape and show her what the value is. Oh, I love this! So see, 
Glixman Incorporated. I love it. It went from $13,000. It's been going up to $20,000. I love it. You see that? that? You know, traditionally, uh, a lot of people who play this game have, you seem a little light on supporters. There's only two of them. I'm not <laughs> judging. Equality, I want you to have. Not quantity, not <laughs> quantity. Well, okay. Does anybody in the audience want to be a supporter? Is there somebody here that actually knows Lisa? Oh, you know Lisa? Yeah. What's your name? Uh, my name's. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm Lisa's doctor. I'm Rachel oh, no. Kramer. She never takes a day off, but she's here for you. That says oh something about you. It says something about this her. So what a day this is. Oh my God. All right, Lisa, is she enjoying her supporters? There is not a lot of things that like do this to me. Huh? That did. That did. She saved your life. She saved my life. And, and not only is she my doctor, She's my friend. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, my God, that is incredible. She's my friend. That's nice to hear. Okay. The offer is $20,000. I'm going to ask you the question now. Lisa Glixman, deal or no deal? No deal. No deal. That's a lot of money. You know what? But I believe in myself in my gut is telling me, and now that my doctor is here, it is telling me, I'm sorry, but Glixman LLC is worth a lot more, so thank you, but no deal! No deal, no deal, four cases to open. Keep small amounts in play. Okay, I know Dr. Kramer's birthday is in March. Number three. Katie, Katie. Come on, Katie, give me a penny. She's looking for a penny. That's all she wants right now. Don't come out a penny. Open the case. <laughs> you have good luck, Charlie. Three more. Three more. Number 22 in the back. Number 22 in the back. As we say in Brooklyn, five dollars. Five dollars. Ancho, open the case. Open the case five for me. Five dollars. Good. Two more. Lucky number seven. That's Jordana. Jordana, open the case. Three quarters of a million dollars is remaining. One more case. One more case. Number one. Number one. Soraya, left side. Keep the amount low. Open your case. That is a tough round. Yeah, yeah. But as much as that's tough, three quarters of a million dollars is still in play. Is it in this case? Is it in one of those cases? We'll find out. And we'll find out what the offer is when we return. Stay right where you are. Welcome back to Deal or No Deal. Lisa Glixman is about to get an offer. She had a tough round, and this is her doctor, Dr. Kramer. Thank you so much for being here. This is a tough fight, and you were in her corner for the, the fight of her life, really. There's no fight. Lisa can't win. I can tell you that right now. Really? I mean, one of the toughest patients I've ever met. This is the most stubborn human being. In a good way. In a, in a good way. Yeah. No, I mean, you know what? You need that to get through chemo. You do. Yeah, well, you it's that. wonderful, and she seems to have great support, great professionals. This is a great game. You've had a tough round. You're about to get an offer. Okay. From a very tough woman. Yes. You know? 
I would imagine she believes the value of your company is going down. We'll see. Okay, all right. Boy, this is stressful. You're telling me. I am. <laughs> when there's a lot of stress on the trading floor, mm -hmm. how do you handle that? So what I usually do after I have a stressful day is right. I get on the treadmill. Yeah. And I listen to some Black Sabbath, baby! <laughs> You like that heavy metal. I love it. All right, she said that was a tough round. Yeah, it was. But as tough as it was, you left three quarters of a million dollars in play. And because of the possibility of that business being worth three quarters of a million dollars, the offer actually went up. Whoa, okay. The offer now for your company is $25,000. Only two large amounts left in play, three cases to open. Talk to your supporters before I ask you the question. You guys, tell me what you think. I think you've been fighting and fighting and fighting. This is gonna have to be another fight, obviously. My opinion, to put it in Black Sabbath terms, keep on walking, spreading your magic. <laughs> <laughs> If my eyes were closed, it's like Ozzy's in the I room. Don't know. <laughs> we're a huge fan. <laughs> Lisa Glixman. Deal or no deal? No deal. No deal. No. All the way. Black Sabbath says? No deal. No deal. No deal. No deal. Let's do this. Wow. Let's do this. Three cases. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. That's Malika. You know how important it is to keep the seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars in play. <laughs> Two more. Number fifteen. Number fifteen. That's Maddie. Maddie. Show open me the fun. Case. Keep it in. Keep it in. Keep it in. One more case, okay. We are gonna go with number five. One more five. case. Five dollars. Okay, okay. <laughs> five for five. If you keep the $750,000 in, the next offer will go up. This case is pivotal. Is there five dollars in that case? Is there $750,000 in this case? We'll find out when we come back. Okay, Lisa Glixman is almost at the end of a great round. One more case to open. You've kept the $750,000 alive. If you can keep it alive, your company value will go way up. You know that, okay? Know that. You picked Lainey. Give me $5. That's all she wants. She thinks there's $5 in the five. So this is all up to you. No pressure, Lainey. <laughs> Everybody at home, just keep thinking $5. Lainey, open your case. Ooh. Ooh. We're still alive. We're still alive. That's a bit of a tough hit. The good news is there's three quarters of a million left on that board. <laughs> Let me just say something. So that's a, it's a, it's a precarious board, but seven of the cases are much less than $750,000. So if you decide to go on, there's a better chance of opening a smaller amount than that 750. So this is now all about your guts. Yes. This is all about your risk. Let me find out what she believes your company is worth right now. All right, all right, okay, I'll tell her. Okay, tough lady against tough lady. Okay, <laughs> all right, this, this was surprising, but. The offer went up. Oh, okay. 
But she said to me, is this the tough trader she says she is? Is this the woman that is willing to take a risk? She says right now, because the $750,000 is left in play, your company is worth $31,000. The other question you have to ask yourself, is this the time to counter offer? And if it is, it's got to make sense to her. Right. Let's check your ticker, okay? Glicksman Incorporated, it went from $13,000 to $20,000 to $25,000 to $31,000. It's going up. Oh. And you understand that the trend will continue to go up if you keep the $750,000 in play. The danger is, you must open up two cases if you say no. So? What do you think she should do? I'm a conservative accountant generally by nature. So the thing is, you, the counter at this point can be maybe 50 she'll accept. She's not gonna accept too much more than 50 on a counter, but you're in a fight and you're in a battle and the gut and the feeling and the heart and the, and the head is what's gotta drive you through. So I still would say no, but she, she wouldn't be here if she accepted my opinion the first time, so. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, what is, tell me what $31,000 means to you in your life. Can it get you everything that you 30, want? 31,000 is life changing for a lot of people. But as we saw on the ticker, and now we say on Wall Street, the trend is your friend. Whoa. So the question is, deal or no deal? No deal! I'm going for it. Do it. Two more to open. Two cases. 16. Jessica Lee. There are seven cases that are not $750,000. We would love to see five dollars. Five dollars! Go ahead, open your case. Okay. One more. One more. Okay, number 11. Brittany, you realize that you have the power to make her and break her. Yes, are I'm you, freaking out over here. Are you I'm really? I'm actually freaking out. Open your case. $750,000, it's still on the board. You are a tough lady. You're going up against that tough lady when we come back. Stay right where you are. Wow. This is Lisa Glitzman, a trader, a cancer survivor, and the bearer of a great round. The most you opened up was $400 on that last round. You kept three quarters of a million dollars in play. And as we learned, the trend is, is your, your friend. friend. Now, if you decide to keep going on in the game, you're gonna only have to open up one case at a time, right? I would imagine it is time for your opponent to call. All right. Hello. Okay. All right. That was a good round. It went up. The new offer is $62,000. See how valuable leaving $750,000 in play is now. I mean, just for leaving it in that one round, it doubled. That's right. I told you the trend was my friend. Well, the trend <laughs> continues. We can look at it. I, I mean, I know, Lisa. I know she would never take this. This is my job as an oncologist. I don't just tell a patient, okay, this is what you have. This is your chemo. Have a nice day. We work together. You know, what can you take? What, what are you able to do? I think she's able to do this. So... Lisa 
Glicksman. Deal or no deal? It's a lot of money. But my gut is telling me one more, at least one more. One more case. I am gonna open case number two. Boy. If it is anything but the $750,000, your company price will go up. Taylor, open your case. Please, five dollars, five dollars, five dollars, five dollars, five dollars. Okay. That's good. The $750,000 yes. is still there. Still here. Still here. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> OK. Hello. Oh. OK. So here's what she said. She said, if she wants the $5, <laughs> I'll give her $5. The new offer is $98,005. Listen, $98,000, can that not buy you everything you wanted to do? And $5, you can take the train wherever you want to go. Yeah. Do you take that now? Do you negotiate? Do you say no deal? Talk to your supporters. Maybe counter? Maybe counter? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would counter. Okay. I don't think we can counter for more than 150, but I, so I think somewhere between 125 and 135, 145 okay. is a counter maybe they can take. So yeah. I just want to clarify yep. something. Yep. We'd all go home now. If you counter yeah. and she refuses, that's Correct. why it's got to make sense. Correct. It's good you have a CPA Correct. in your corner. If she refuses, it's got to make sense. Right. Then the offer goes away and you must open up one case. Okay, okay we're okay with that. And we're with you in any decision, yeah? Right. So let me ask you, Lisa Glicksman, deal or no deal? I want to counter. Counter. So, okay. So I am going to counter with $138,000. That's a lot of money. A lot of how, money. How did you come to that? Well, I added $40,000. <laughs> Can you put that into layman's terms? Yes. I, I, I just. It's a, it's a number where I'd be happy going home with, but if she refuses it, I'd be happy going on too. If she rejects it, all that's off the table, and you have to open up one more case. If she takes it, then you leave, but if you do that, how would you feel if that was three quarters of a million dollars? That could be heartbreaking. So what is she thinking about? How do you operate? Where is the three quarters of a million dollars? These are all the questions, but we'll answer all of those when we come back. Ah! What to say? We're back with Lisa Glicksman. Yeah. You know we're here at uh, Universal Orlando, and I love roller coasters. But this this game has been the biggest roller coaster I've been on since I've been here because that first drop, you were playing rough, and now that roller coaster is whipped back up. You have kept seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars in the play. You guys have really been fighting it out. She wants you out of here. That we have named your company, Lisa Glicksman Incorporated. We've been turning down every valuation that she has given your company because you believe it's worth more. $138,000 is a counter offer she is taking seriously. All the things that you were hoping for are possible if she takes that offer. If she says no deal and rejects this, 
that's off the table. Okay, if she accepts it, that's the deal, and you go home with that amount of money. Okay. Here she is. Hello. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. She asked some questions. She's trying to size you up, not only your company, and I think you do that in the stock market, because when I watch CNBC and they talk about stocks, they'll sometimes talk about the CEO because it's about people. Right. And that's what she's doing. So now she's valuing me. Well, ultimately, don't you do that? Yeah. Don't you look at somebody who comes management in? Management is just as important. That's what she's talking about, management now. Does management make good decisions? Something. Is management taking too much of a risk? Will management push it a little too far? I'm trying to work with her. And she's trying to work for herself. I respect her for that. She's been tough on me. She said, no deal. Oh! Your counteroffer was rejected. You know something, with one case to open, as I said, you have a four out of five chance of picking any case but the $750,000. That may work out in your favor. Do you have a feeling of where that $5 is? That $5 is in case number 24. That's busy. I'm sensing the tension. She has fought for her life. She fights for her earnings. She fought the banker. I think it's time for you to open your case. OMG. <laughs> hey, call me now. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I know. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. Right. She said hindsight is 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Should have taken that off. But then again, risk versus reward. You see, the longer you stay in, the bigger the risk, the more the reward. Do you still believe there's $750,000 in 12? Yes, I do. How much do you believe it? Yes, I do. So are you willing to sell your company right now that you believe, you believe, is worth $750,000? for $156,000. Wow. <laughs> One more case? I know. Or do you take it? Lisa Lixman. Deal or no deal? That's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. The banker is right. When you you run your business, there's only so much risk you can take. Right. So I am going to take the deal. 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 Congratulations. Thank you so much. That's so cool. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Oh, what the final round is being this round? All right. Congratulations. Congratulations, you're walking out of here with a lot of money, okay? But, you know, you could have the $5 in this case. Oh, I know! And so we want to find out if you made a great deal. Had you said no deal, your next case that you would have opened would have been? 14. Olga, open your case. Oh, wow. Oh, I 
and the banker would have offered you. Oh. Oh. Wow. Okay. And if you would have said no deal to that, the next case you would have opened was 18. All right, Alyssa. Oh. oh boy, I look like an idiot. No, you don't. You won't look like an idiot ever. You're a very smart young lady you. who has nerves of steel and you thought right, and that's the way people should do it. But do you want to see what she would have offered you? Oh. oh wow. But let's see if you made a good deal. So you sold your company for $156,000. Lisa, you made. Bad deal. Wow. Megan, open your case. You know what? Better safe than sorry. She played it right. She's walking out of here with a life changing amount of money. You're healthy. You've got great family, great friends, a great support system. We love her. She sold her company for $156,000. The market is closed, and so are we. We'll see you next time right here on Beal and